The city of Calcutta or Kolkata is known for its lip-smacking street food. Be it the puchka, chalmuri, bhelpuri or the mutton roll, the flavor of these dishes will make your mouth drool while the heat will make your eyes water at the same time. Today's dish is street style alur dom or spicy potatoes which is a hot favorite in Kolkata. Served by the local puchka wala or perhaps at one of the many fairs that happen in the city throughout the year, this dish is sure to soothe your craving for something spicy and tangy. Let's get gobbledy cooking. We'll start by making the secret sauce, I mean secret masala that goes into this dish. Start by heating a pan on medium low heat. Dry roast two chilies and a bay leaf for about two minutes or until they are roasted and fragrant. Set aside. In the same pan, dry roast one tablespoon of cumin seeds, one and a half teaspoon of coriander seeds, three fourth teaspoon of fennel seeds, a quarter teaspoon of whole black peppercorns, one third of a star anise. Dry roast for two to three minutes or until the spices have browned and release a heavenly aroma. Set aside and let all the masalas cool. Pour the masala in a mixer jar, add half a teaspoon of rock salt and then dry grind everything to form a fine powder. Now we'll boil the potatoes for the alur dum. Heat about 6 cups of water in a pan along with 2 teaspoon of salt and bring to a boil. Once the water boils, add the potatoes. Note that these are baby potatoes with a very thin skin. Be sure to leave the skin on because this helps maintain the shape of the potato. You could do this in a pressure cooker, but doing this over the stove lets you have much more control over the firmness and texture of the potatoes. We want to boil the potatoes to the point where they are completely cooked but are still firm and hold their shape. Once boiled, transfer immediately to a bowl of water that has a few ice cubes in it so the potatoes stop cooking. Once the potatoes are slightly cool to the touch, peel off the skins. For our Bengali viewers, tell me in the comments below how many of you have popped a boiled potato in your mouth at this stage. I remember doing this as a child when my mom used to make alur dum. Let's make a tamarind slurry by adding 2 teaspoons of tamarind to half a cup of warm water. You can adjust the quantity of tamarind according to its sourness. Next, we'll make a spice slurry by mixing 1.5 tablespoon of cumin powder, 1 tablespoon of coriander powder and 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder in a cup of warm water. At the core of this dish is a ginger paste which we will prepare by pounding together enough ginger to form 2 tablespoons of paste along with some salt for easy grinding. Also pound together 3 green chilies. You can add more or less chilies depending upon the desired level of heat. Finally chop up some cilantro which we'll use for garnishing and you're good to go. Okay, let the show begin. Start by heating 1 third cup of mustard oil in a skillet on medium heat. And no, you cannot use any other oil. Alur dom must, must, must be cooked in mustard oil. Temper with a bay leaf, two dry red chilies and a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Add a teaspoon of turmeric powder. A quarter teaspoon of asafoetida. Saute for 30 seconds and then add the boiled potatoes. Stir so as to coat all the potatoes with the tempered oil. Move aside some potatoes and add 2 teaspoons of Kashmiri red chilli powder directly in the oil for a bright red color. Stir the potatoes until they develop a golden crust like this. Now lower the heat, add in the ginger paste and green chilli paste and saute until the raw flavour of ginger goes away. Go ahead and add the spice slurry and toss until the water evaporates and masala coats the potatoes. 
add the tamarind slurry, add in one and a half tablespoon of tomato ketchup, add a cup of hot water. The final consistency of the dish is dry, but we are adding water to allow all the ingredients to blend together. Add a teaspoon of sugar or according to taste. You can taste the dish at this point and balance the sweetness and tartness. Also adjust the salt if needed. Keep stirring until all the water has evaporated. Turn off the flame and squeeze some lime juice. Remember the magic masala we made at the beginning? Finally, it's time to use that. Add 2 tablespoon of the masala, sprinkle some chopped cilantro, give a final toss and you're done. Take some potatoes in a bowl, drizzle tamarind water, sprinkle some masala and cilantro and then dig in. And I'll show you my favorite way of eating this though I may forever be banished by Calcutta viewers for showing this. Spoon some of the potatoes in a puchka, garnish it and pop it in your mouth. Mmm, yummy! Do subscribe to our channel for more such recipes.